about my last job. On the one hand, lost a friend. But on the other hand, I got their credits. Hello, Captain. service captain They're literally best friends after all captain do you require my assistance Work on the so I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? We told you we'd be keeping tabs on you. So, did you get information for us or not? Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbanks computers. 
Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't change the fact that Delgado is still a murderer. Your best buddy has killed every single one of our previous informants. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Aren't you gonna warn the UC Navy about the attempt to grab the comm spike? I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the vest. All right, I'll be back when it's done. Perfect. Just stick with the plan, and we'll see who gets to Chris's legacy first. The fleet call us sharks. They know what happens when we see. trip in our favorite rocket ship. Disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. You all good, Vasco. Don't even worry about it, bro. So there I am. 
You see security on my tail, and my grab drive just chokes. And you know what I find back there? The fattest leech I've ever seen. Worm nearly got me dust. Cat. Is Mina seeing anyone right now? The patience, I mean. I got a sword here. Spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on chips. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Premium smugglers route. Definitely. We're talking... Cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. Sound like she'll be useful. I sure hope so. She might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. I bring it back in one pleat. Oh. What does the device look like? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Like Neva said, it's a prototype, so it could look like anything. Once you're inside SY920 and you're behind their firewalls, you should pick through their computer system. With any luck, it'll point you the right way. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so, I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk <laughs> while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here and don't come back without <coughs> that comm spike in your cargo bay. Talk later. We may not have official security on the key, but we're always looking out for traitors.
Time to take another flight. That was about to be trouble. That's not where we're going. Bro, what the hell? Get your neighbor's new recruit? That Jake. Now I don't. You might say he saved my life. And you must be the smuggler. Careful. The walls have ears. SY 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Let's hear him. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Got it. Good. Then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. How much you know about this job? Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out, if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. Delgado wants to spike comm, a signal decrypted device. Interesting. When we get to the station, I'll see if I can pull any information on its whereabouts. Hopefully, that'll make for a smoother trip. What else do you know about the comm spike? Less than you. And even if I did, I'm a smuggler, not a scientist. Mm. But if Delgado's after it, and I have a feeling there's a pile of credits waiting at the end of this job. So we better Probably. do it right. We'll talk more on the ship. Alright.
It's a big ass ship. Is the credit always looking for the next mark? Shit, we gotta go up another deck. Well, how the fuck do we do that? Hey, what up? Excuse me, bro. Let me get by you. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Yeah. He would have tried. Somebody make yourself useful and fucking tell me how to get upstairs. Howdy. Fucking big ass shit, man. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. Bro, watch out. Yes, what? Always looking for the next mark. As the credits keep rolling in, life's good. How the fuck do I get upstairs on this thing, man? Yes? All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Shouldn't be a problem. Of course, I don't expect it to be. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. 10-4, I'm ready, let's go. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY-920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing how to engine and grab drive, all systems go. I ain't used to being a passenger on the ship. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Jump. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Daiyu, cargo class ship ID UC 938, requesting permission. 
mission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Watch out, bro. She ain't trying to talk to you. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But... If at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Oh, boy. What's this about the vents again? This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far as tactics go, it's an oldie, but goodie. Ah, uh, don't worry. They won't suspect a thing. I would hope not. But if they do... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Excuse me. All right, let's see what's up. <clears throat> we got some Mission Impossible shit going on. Good day, Captain. You with the Jades? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and One, pull a quick save up. right here. Stay clear of the military barracks. Cargo haulers are restricted to the cargo bay. That hurt. Excuse me. Here we go with the digi picks. I ain't no good with these things, man. uniforms at We've been asked to tighten security on the station. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Oh boy. The rules can't let you in unless you're military. Well, maybe if you hurry. It is just the barracks. I suppose if you're quick. 
Maybe if you do it quickly. God damn, bro. It's classified too, I bet. Sometimes I feel like I can't even tell someone my own name without declassifying it first. I'll be in and out. You won't even know I was there. Well, if you're quick about it, I suppose no one will notice. All right, fine. You're good. Nice. Just be quick about it. Hey. Authorized personnel only. Jesus Christ, boy. I am authorized. Only designated SY920 UC military allowed. You're not even in uniform. How the fuck am I supposed to get that uniform? Rules haven't changed. Author. There's always an exception. Right. If you were Admiral Pasquale Logan, then yeah, I would wave you on through. But unless you left your chest candy on your other uniform, you're about ten medals short of Admiral. Oh, boy. Gotta be another way in. Another suit somewhere, something. I don't know how to go about getting to that suit, man. Wait until I tell it. Will do. How long do you need me to wait? A minute? Two? Until the heat death of the universe? All are fine with... Until I tell you not to wait. Uh, I can't even pick the lock anyway. Come on, man. Rules haven't changed. Let's hope I see a Marine next time. What about this dude? All right, fine. You're good. Ah, uh, boy. Check the crew quarters out. See what's up here. We really need someone patrolling the barracks. There's sensitive equipment up here. If it were up to me, the commander would have you monitor something less important, like your career. Ouch. I got feelings, you know. Hey. Something of your work. Don't suck
I think he should probably wait right there. Another day, another patrol. Yes, indeed. Another day, another patrol for sure. You got patrol duty, huh? Standing on your feet, that's for sure. You ain't never lied. State your business. I need to report to the command bay for duty. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Thank you, sir. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. I hope Fan stay his ass downstairs, man. I don't compromise my position. There you go. I to compromise oh my, my position, bro. I'm literally following in your footsteps yeah. right now. <laughs> it's so cool. No, it's not cool. I need you to hang tight, Waiting. bro. I can use the uniform I picked up and walk my way past I the guards. I don't like deliberately drawing attention to yourself. But a disguise is never a bad idea. The uniform won't be enough, though. You'll need to find a computer with the code. Mm, Try ten the four. security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located the comm spike. Recognize your face, Ensign. Oh, you do. Ah. And to get this code, I gotta go through another digi digi pick. That one was easy enough. Should probably read this shit just to make sure. Head out this way. Oh, can't go that way. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Oh, boy. AK-12. We in there. Everything going smooth so far.
calm, Spike. Engineering Bay Four. <coughs> I think I'm supposed to be up in here. How are the tests for the comm spike doing? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we will still be monitoring. You're not going anywhere without me. Sorry, but the situation calls for it. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That oh, doesn't wow. mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. I've made it this far. I can sneak my way off. You've made it this far without engaging in combat. I trust you'll have no issues moving further. It was an honor to work with a true professional. Good luck. If you manage to get the comm spike and make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. I don't know. I had to talk to Andresia about that. See the sign. I'm doing a routine check of the comm spike. I need access to the device. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results mm. so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Decryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is interested in it. Yes. It's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. 
Sounds like it's not entirely ready. I'd be, I'd be a good pilot. I love adventure. Yes, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to MAST. I'm one of those new test pilots, actually. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. We don't have time for this, bro. I was told this is an emergency. You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready in time. I'm the test pilot. There's no other reason for me to be here, bro. That is true. If I weren't a pilot, I wouldn't have got past all these checkpoints. True. And Commander Natara's checkpoints are very thorough. Too thorough if you ask me, not that anyone does. The reasons are classified, but I've been asked to personally fly this ship. Classified? I, I'm the head of the Com Spike project. I would have gotten word of this ahead of time. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Now, if you don't have any further business, I have a sign I need to commission. Let me All get back right. to you. Oh, onwards and uh, upwards, as they say. <clears throat> Bro, you need to stay away. Oh boy, I gotta steal a key card. Where to get one of those from? From this dude, really? Hmm. Huh. Do I know you? Now, how the hell am I supposed to get that key card up off my guy? Wandered off twice already, my guy. Can't even pickpocket this dude, bruh. Let me 
me try We're not even going that route. Damn, I gotta do all this shit over. You're not going anywhere without me. Sorry, but the situation calls for it. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. I made it this far. I could sneak my way off. I'll take a different approach this time. Oh, I don't even think I got any. Sure as fuck don't. Well, damn. Intercepting transponder data in the hub. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? I'm doing a routine check of the comm spike. I need access to the device. No, we're gonna play it different this time. Are you the person in charge of Project UCE-86? Oh, yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. Hmm. I'm doing a routine check on the comm spike. I need access to the device. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But 
the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a signal. We'll be able to infer everything from not that we... And yes, there are some... Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can... And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind unafraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Uh, I'm one of these new test pilots, actually. Splendid. That was fast. Normally my requests aren't given <clears throat> Commander Natara has never... You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module. You make a compelling case. But if this oh I'm God. sorry, but I don't believe you. Now, if you don't have any further business, I have a sign I need to commission. Steal the calm spike. Why? Who is this person? Damn space pirates. Say no more. I will contact Commander Natara immediately. I didn't want to go that route either. Commander Natara, this is Dr. Vogel. What is it now, Doctor? We have an intruder on board. Captain Juan Dayu is not who she says. Wait, Dayu? She was one of the captains on Messina's list. Apparently, she's with the Crimson Fleet. And she's after my comm spike. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll sound the alarm and have a strike team directed toward the cargo bay. Good. I have a pilot here. I'll have them secure the prototype. Make sure it's safe. You are a pilot, aren't you? You've got the look at least. Take this key card. It'll give you access to docking bay 8. I need you to make sure my prototype is safe. Damn, bro. I had no choice. How do I get in there? How do I get in there? Uh, oh shit. Up out of here. Bro, you always in the way.
Captain. Oh, well. Very Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Come on in, we have quite a load for you. We'll take care of you. see, he'll never crush the fleet. They'd have to catch us first. to see me, Rhett? Logado may let it slide, but I don't take kindly to snitches. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You made yours. If the time comes you ever need my help, I'll make mine. You screwed me out of the most lucrative route I have. It's going to take me months to set up something even remotely as good. Not to mention getting the UC off of my trail. I was the one who took all the risks. Your ass was halfway back to whoever the fuck that is by the time I found the comm spike. Don't put this on me. I got you in and gave you cover. You decided to return that favor by blowing mine. You may have fooled Delgado and Ava, but I don't trust you, Rook. At this point, you better find that legacy. Because to me, that's the only saving grace you've got. Hmm. Well, fuck you too, bitch. If you've got time to stand around, you've got time to do a job. Come on, bro. I'm trying to talk to you. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. The comm spike was built into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She's actually pretty pissed, in case you didn't notice. Claims you blew her cover. If Juan doesn't like how things have gone, and she wants to bail out her share, that's her problem. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Planet 4. I have faith that Jazz can get that tech to work. you damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deaf little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. I like the part about splitting the cash now. Don't worry. When Grixis Legacy is aboard the key, we'll be splitting plenty of cash. Until then, I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to a letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting. 
But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quitz's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Those crabs ain't gonna steal themselves. Not even gonna be around long enough for you to scan us, baby. Shit out, man. Okay, cool. I think that shit the moved. Pardon. 
Remember to turn in any evidence. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. Betraying Juan Dayu for cover was a dangerous gambit. But it seems to have paid off. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. Infiltrating that station without getting caught was quite tricky. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a SysDev operative. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. Delgado has Jasmine Duran working on the comm swipe. And it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? According to him. The conduction grid? That's brilliant, but is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. I hope that means I'm getting a pay increase. I'll see what I can do. You've certainly gone above and beyond the Call of Duty. All right, I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. Yes, sir. 10 4. A lot of us had our doubts about you. But you're really making progress with this operation. Sentiments are shifting. I heard we might see some action soon. Can't wait. You know, a part of me respects the fleet. Stealing the comm spy, chasing the legacy. They're doing things the FC never even dreamed of. You're just saying that to take a shot at the FC, aren't you? I just call them how I see them. Word is you had to steal classified tech from a UC station. I hope the commander knows what he's doing. Fuck are you? I don't know about you. Cheyenne Finn? Pretty much. It got so bad I had to dust off with half my ship dangling. No, I don't. But I do know the previous occupants of that interrogation chair you were sitting in. Not good people, to say the least. I think one of them even strangled a man with his teeth. But if Commander Ikande says you're Sis Def, then you are one of us. For now. Are you a you pilot? It. In fact, I'd say you've got what linguistic experts call FOGO, a firm grasp of the obvious. But I'm not just any pilot. I'm the best, and I've got the kills to prove it. I bet I could fly circles around you, bro. I like your confidence. And there's always room in the squad for another Apex Predator. Just be sure you know whose side you're on. Hmm. Stay frosty.
Been been on so many ships today. And I forgot how to get to my cockpit. Won't touch you. Drive velocity yet? You looking to get zone? I'm looking for you. Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Let's cut the crab and get to work. Are you serious? You're just gonna completely blow me off like that. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. If you want to piss off Delgado by complaining, then that's on you. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, 
then you're going to have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. What kind of facility are we talking about? I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for Neon. <laughs> All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. That sounds easy enough. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Delgado never mentioned anything about a virus. That's because you're planning it for me <clears throat> as a favor. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. The high speed wireless data collection siphon should make the job. Whatever that is. It might be wireless, but you aren't going to be able to use it from here, genius. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. I have some pool or Ryujin if it helps. Ryujin Cloud doesn't mean shit at Jennerdyne. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge, so we can celebrate. Oh, damn it. Uh. Just grab that tech and plant the virus. It should be a cinch. The strikers are upstairs, so we better be on our best behavior. <laughs> I always gotta do some extra shit, man. Out of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. I think I can handle hey, myself. It's your ass, not mine, on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns. But now that they're on the ropes, kind of wish they weren't just hold up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. That's good to know. Sure. Sure. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. I have a heart. Bro, if you don't get the fuck out of my face. Can't blame a fella for trying, right? Fuck wrong with you. Bagging and shit.
your nose clean. Last thing I want is a charge. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you. But I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. If you don't mind talking about it, I'm willing to listen. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Can't imagine your superiors are happy about this. My superiors seem to only be concerned about themselves. The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Surely there are other scientists working at Brayson's side. Of course there are. But so far? Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? I don't even know how to answer that for real. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. Mind if I ask you some shit about Comico? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Do you suspect do you suspect that she's involved in anything illegal? Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Damn, he got serious about that. You're just annoying enough that this might work. <laughs> that was okay, easy. Listen. You didn't hear this from me, <clears throat> but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? It was great speaking with you. Yes, sir. Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. I don't like the look of you. Oh, shit. Yo, bro, if you don't move. What the fuck?
Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Got what I came for. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the third chimera, you're floating up. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Mike, I learned to mix a drink like that anyway. Well, let's face it, some people are just gifted. I'm an old friend of hers. We go way back. <laughs> no way. You're going to have to try better than that. Fuck. You debt collectors are low life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. Boy. I just want to see what's going to happen if I say I'm Crimson Fleet. I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. Hm. That's probably not a good idea. How much is this going to cost me? Oh my god. You're. All Look, I'm getting really tired of this crap. Get out now. Lord. <laughs> I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. The. The Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Wow. Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. 5,000 credits, though. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. They be out here extorting the fuck out of people, man. May I recommend a chimera? Oh yeah, you you may recommend a Chimera. Uh, you know what? I buy all of those. Thank you. Now sit back, relax, and unwind. I like coming here. Let's me forget oh, everything else there. for a bit. There we go. Take it easy. <clears throat> yeah. What do you want? I need a way to get into the Zinnerdine power facility. Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Help me or this evidence of your scheme will buy you ends up on SSNN. How the hell? 
hell did you find that? Huh. It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room, Angie, to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. If you get caught in Jennerdyne, that's on you. Good luck. Micah knows how to make a drink. Let's see here. You know what? I know what to help with this. Watch out, buddy. I heard you're fluent in here? Right here? What about, say, over there? No? Right here. All right, then. You're the hero of the terror. Whatever you say. Matter of fact. Yes, my You can return to your of post course. now. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Get out of here, bro. Well, whatever the case might be, you might want to stop chatting with him. There's no telling what he might pass along to Administrator Mayhew. What the hell are we looking for, bro? I don't even know.
We thank God for that camouflage, boy. Revelio. Revelio. Quick save. Fuck, bro. That looks like fun.
bitch. Dumbass. Now all of y'all gotta die. I just want some. Where you at? Better run. Put your damn fist down. What's up, homie? Ah, oh, yeah. I'll be back to talk to you after I run your shit. Encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. Go away this time. Give me the cipher first, and then I'll consider if anybody's gonna get hurt. Look, there's no need to be angry with me. I, I'm on your side. I, I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It, it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I'm sure you got good reason to hate your brother. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself, but at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him, but while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. The man's virtually immortal. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal 
is GEM-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Feels good to be in control for a change. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. But they think it is, and that makes them dangerous. Hmm. Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. I have no clue what you're talking about, bro. Oh, I think you do. Please, don't insult my intelligence. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. <laughs> Your methods are no different than ours. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. It was a brother. Brayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my... Warmest regards. This Aurora stuff is blowing my mind.
Darren. Sitting where the fuck you were sitting last time, huh? Okay. Hello. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you thing at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. I handled the situation. So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Well, I'm glad someone's happy. Since Bay, you flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jenardine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. You knew the risk? I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Uh, no, we all have problems well, to deal with. Well, that's just great. I'm in debt laying low from Bayou and his brute squad, and now you're shutting me out? Delgado sure knows how to pick him. You know what? When you get back to the key, why don't you tell Delgado that I've had enough of his bullshit? I'm through. Uh, oh, well. Uh. You want me to get my money after you sent me on a dummy mission, uh... Nerve of that bitch. How you gonna want my, my bread? After I did all that work. Yeah, right. Hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Someone overcook a potato in the microwave? Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! How many credits was that? Tempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied. Oh, the wrong way. <clears throat> I'm going to 
give me a minute, man. I need something to drink. And a smoke. You see Sis Def as a joke. They haven't caught us yet.
All right, I'm back. Let's go get this shit jumping. I don't jumping. trust shielding. I got secret compartments on my ship just in case. Sure, we will have those defense batteries up and running. No, 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 I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Gal. Gal. Really bad shape. Uh, I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You want to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. You're in or not? All right, all right, I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right. Listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I'd rather stay here and fight. No. I need you to stay the course and bring that money back to the fleet. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm going to upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Once your ship is ready, jump out the Bannock 4, board the Legacy, Bring us the cash. Sounds simple enough. Nothing around here is simple. Dell's right. You have to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. What if Shinya can't crack the encryption? That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. I mean, the guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. No, I'm not worried about it. You can count on me. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving get moving before it's too late i need to get those defensive batteries online so make this fast not a problem conduction grid data is all set up in the system so should be an easy install Sure, sure. Let me punch that up, and we can have at it. Conduction grid. Spike. Board on 
I want to put this. Oh, shit. It's the only place it really will make sense. It's over here. I guess Actually, want to place them in the opposite spots, yeah. but it's whatever. I'm sure they're sad to see you go. Good day, Captain. Good day, Vasco. Wherever the Crimson Fleet go, we'll... All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange a briefing. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled inside of Genadai. Opening fire inside a civilian facility. Are you out of your mind? Genadai is furious at us right now. They want Commander Ikande to resign. What am I supposed to do when I run out of options? You search for more options. And when those fail, you search for even more. Anything that prevents you from drawing that weapon. The only reason you should be opening fire on anyone is in the defense of your own life. Well, it was. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. People have died because you were too stubborn to find a safer solution. This is not how you see Sisdev operates. I don't care if we're one step away from Crix's legacy. If you do it again, you're off this operation, and I'll have tough throw you in the brig. It'll be my pleasure, sir. All right. I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. It's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. I'm glad the UC is finally back in your play. Thanks to your evidence, we are finally able to convince them to task us the necessary resources. Before you jump to Bannock Four, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter in the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sisdev won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever.
sir, I'm not gonna let you down. You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for the security of the settled systems. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Three Star Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose we still are to some extent, the credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Mask, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. All my hopes go with you. Good luck. Those pirates are gonna look like fools when we take the legacy from under their noses. Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come. I wanted to see what that was about, actually. Holy shit.
Warning, bulb access requires an authorized transfer module. Warning, bulb access requires an authorized transfer module. We can go ahead and drop that com relay. Get, get rid of that. Won't be picking up nothing else. A lot. down boy Come on, bro.
shit's lighting me up, man. I can't be running around overweight like this, man. I definitely need that joint, though, man. Hold up. Back. Let me check miscellaneous out. Shit, I could have left in the house. Alright, 
Just leave it like that and don't pick up nothing else. Fuck it. Crew recording initiated. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks. Who the hell knows? Food packs from my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me. Bet I'm overweight. Anyway, why don't you just sit down in this chair? Yeah, there we go. Best view in the house. All that money staring me right in the face, and it's completely worthless. This is a nightmare. Worst kind of prison imaginable. Terminated. <clears throat> 
External communication detected. Automated recording system activated. Legacy, come in. This is Issa Melant. Are you there, Legacy? Holy shit. Issa, is that you? Issa, I I'm here. Y yes, I can read you. Jasper Creeks, you're still alive? You always were one tough son of a... Yeah. I'm alive. Now thanks to you. A month? Really? You left me to sit here and panic for a month. We said you'd wait a week. Cops! Wait a moment. I, I think broadcasting from outside the EM field is interfering with my comms. Did I just hear Jasper Creeks the Great admit that he was panicking about something? Yeah, yeah. How about we cut the crap and you get my ass out of here? Come on, there has to be millions of credits here. We're rich. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to pass. Right before you left, remember how you temporarily placed me in charge of the fleet? Well, right then, I decided to make the job permanent. <laughs> All I had to do was make some alterations to your sheeting plans. Mainly the footnotes where the lead technician mentions I even paid a tech to ensure a few of your ship's power connections were dodgy, just in case. <laughs> Yet, look at you now. Frankly, I'm surprised those shields held on. What the hell? You can't do this to me. I'm in charge of the fleet. How dare you? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I thought that was clear. I'm in charge. You're dead. Well, I won't tell everyone that. I'll spin some story about you running off into the sunset with loot in hand. Oh, very romantic. The fleet will eat it up. You don't care about the credits? Isn't that what this is all about? Fleet is family, remember? If we can't depend on each other, then what the fuck is the point? You idiot, don't you get it? Boarding the Legacy is a one-way journey. The technology simply doesn't exist the fleet's motto. I listened to that bullshit for years while you made deals and cut me out of them. You call that family? You know what? I'm glad you're alive. It's given me a chance to say goodbye. So, uh, goodbye? There. All done. Isa? Isa? Cold-blooded. Are you still there? Answer me. Crew recording <clears throat> terminated. Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of, and I end up right where I started. Oh, here I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. <sighs> I can't believe I came all this way just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually... Wait a second. Isa. Isa will figure it out. I, I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait until she figures out that something's gone wrong. She'll come here looking for me. 
Kosovo stranu. Tell me I'm stuck, bro. Ain't no way, bro. This ain't the way, B. This is not the way.
Come on, bro. Did you pick on deck? How am I supposed to get through the doors with no did you picks? Like for real. Things going in a big circle. God, I'm so confused, yo.
circle. Motherfucker, bro.
what else I got wrong with my dude, man? Toxic gas hazard. I'm almost out too. Stop trying to look at this. Look at this. Come on, bro. Y'all know better.
glad to be up out of that shit. Damn, bro. Anything to report? My God, is that it? Is that Crix's legacy? <sighs> Amazing. And take this and enter it into the data core analyzer. I'm on it, sir. You see, Lieutenant, I told you he wouldn't let us down. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Encrypted or not, <clears throat> it's quite a lot of money to be carrying around. The temptation must have been excruciating. I totally understand. I can assure you that we'll take full responsibility for Crix's legacy from here on out. Now, on to other more pressing matters. We received confirmation that the fleet ships were scouts sent to probe our defenses. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of them grabbed jumped away before you arrived. Which means that Delgado will have the Crimson Fleet prepping defenses of its own. That's the plan. Lieutenant, if you wouldn't mind explaining our strategy. Yes, sir. The Vigilance is equipped with the latest in hyper-resistant shielding, making it the only ship that can safely approach the key. The catch is that the key has access to three orbital defensive batteries that can fire electromagnetic energy. One hit, and we lose those fancy shields. Our mission is to take out those batteries. In fact, I'll be personally leading the assault on Battery Alpha. I need you to be my support. Sadly, we didn't get as much support for this mission as I would have liked. There just wasn't enough evidence gathered. We weren't able to convince Mass to lend us additional squadrons. They feel like they've committed too many resources already. That means we'll have to take out all three batteries ourselves. It's unfortunate, yes. But we wouldn't be here if I didn't believe you could do it. We've also given you a call sign, Renegade, to help coordinate our movements during the attack. Once those batteries are destroyed, you board the key and bring Delgado to justice. You won't come quietly. You do what you have to do. Consider it done. I knew we could count on your support. Well, this is it. After years of planning, it all comes down to this moment. <clears throat> all my hopes and my best wishes go with you. Good luck.
is dealing with your flagship as we speak. I wouldn't expect backup anytime soon. Ooh. Give me plenty of time to blow your ships out of the void. All right, fleet. Triple share to whoever takes the traitor down. All ships, defensive formations.
Always wanted to know what was up in here. Who? Ha. Ah. Y'all done messed up just now. Oh, y'all done messed up just now. Oh, yeah, y'all done messed up just now, buddy. This a shotgun? Hmm. We're gonna do damage with this. If I can hit somebody with it. Old oh, earth pistol. Oh, 1911. Give me that.
did this to me. I can decrypt and re-encode thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now because of you, my bomb's been activated. Which means I'm as good as dead. Everyone has to die sometime. That feels like an appropriate response from someone like you. I've paid you well, treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the <clears throat> eye and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. Cause fuck you. <laughs> Blame. Uh. We'll blame Delgado for pushing the button, nigga. At this point, I can't blame Delgado for activating the bomb. If I was in his place, I'd do the same thing, without hesitation. Well, now that you're here, I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? Then let's end this. You tried it. Oh boy, I need some health packs, man. Gotta be something lying around here. Apple chunks. Shit's not gonna help me, man. I know I got an emergency joint on me, at least. Mm.
Y'all can keep that seat. I want to play. All right, then, big fella. Can't end like this. Oh, it's ending like that, buddy. Everything they got, boy. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's tough. Shit, I want to equip that right now. I'll take that too, for real. Hold on. Nah, uh-uh. We're about to put that on. That's hard. Are you hiding from me, Delgado? Came back to finish the job personally. I've always treated you like one of the fleet. I paid you well, taught you the ropes, and still you're going to pull this shit on me? Yeah, I know it's a little fucked up. What the hell happened to you? You had Crix's legacy in your hands, and you gave it away. For what? For honor? Justice? Yeah? 
And why the hell does Sistef get to determine what is right and what is wrong? You know, when we were on Suoro, I saw the potential for you to become a badass pirate. One of the best. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled the entire time? That this was some kind of elaborate game you have been playing? No. No way. For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted. Well, at least we know you are still human. It is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. You clearly never did. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. Ikande must be so proud that he has turned you into a proper little soldier. A noble death, is it? Suit yourself! Open the door.
Come on now, Delgado. Titanium rip shank. See what the big bad Delgado got, boy. See if you like these. Mm -mm, you sure don't, do you? That ain't working. Really? Hello, hey. Huh. Wasted time. Late as hell. Ooh. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. 
everyone, I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this <coughs> is Galact Talk. Howdy. My guest tonight is one of the most Excuse notorious me. criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of his self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an How extremely important decision. Captain. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life. That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. Getting on my ship, man. What a battle. Flying kid, you earned your wings today. Thank you, sir. I was just trying to do my part. A lot of heroes on this day. Speaking of which, here comes one now. Good work taking out those pirates, Renegade. Thank you, sir. to speak freely. I believe congratulations are in order. With this decisive blow, the end of the Crimson Fleet is all but assured. But as much as I'd like to begin this celebration, technically we're still in the process of wrapping up the operation. On that note, Lieutenant, what do you have for me? Reports are coming in right now, Commander. Delgado and Shinya Voss are confirmed dead. Also, we've transferred personnel to the Key to secure the location until the United Colonies decides what they want to do with the station. And what about Neva Mora? According to our reports, Neva led the strike force that attacked the Vigilance. Unfortunately, that was the last we saw of her. It looks like she managed to escape. We don't know her current whereabouts, but I have our operations team looking into it. That's fine. Overall, excellent news, Lieutenant. I have to admit, for the first time in seven years, I don't know what to say. How about you? 
I know that was difficult. You hanging in there? I'm completely exhausted. I can understand that. The dual life you are leading must have been incredibly stressful. Honestly, I have no idea how you kept it all together. Well, let me let you in on a bit of a surprise. Something I've been working on for a while. I've twisted arms and cashed in some favors at Mast. I wanted to make sure you got a share of the money you recovered from the legacy. Call it a reward, a token of appreciation, whatever the hell you want. But you've absolutely earned every credit. Thank you, that's very generous. Don't thank me yet. If it had been completely up to me, you'd get a lot more than they're giving you. Now that you're rich and famous, maybe you'll still remember us little people, huh? Decorum, Lieutenant. Damn, I'm going to be really sorry to see you go. You've really become an important part of our team. It won't be the same around here without you. Although, if you feel like staying aboard, I'm sure I could give you access to the SysDev mission board. That is, if you can stand spending another minute with us on the Vigilance. Excellent. I'd be honored. I'm happy we haven't somehow frightened you away. Anyway, enough talk. You've earned a break, and I'm sure you wish to celebrate. Here's your promised reward. And wherever you might find yourself, my best wishes travel with you. 250,000 credits? Sheesh! Not only the lives on this ship, <clears throat> countless others across the galaxy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I do for you. Remember to turn in any evidence fragment. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure. It makes me. Anything I'm else? I'm about to just skip all through this. That's a hell of a story. All that wealth. Find anything else? Benjamin Bayou. Pride of the free star, bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jennerdine from the shadows is that it? Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I know. We'll be here if you need us. I need a cis death outfit. That's what I need. Some of the crew had doubts about you, but not anymore. You saved the day, Renegade. Gonna be one hell of a party in your honor. You know, I had my doubts about you. Once a criminal, always a criminal. You know how it is. But then I asked myself, as spectacular as I am, can I do what you do? And the answer was an emphatic no. See, I'm a great shooter but a straight shooter. And that wasn't going to win this war. What we needed was someone standing on their side with a boomerang gun. We needed someone whose bullets curved. No ride like a blind side. That's what I say. Anyway, heard you talk to Ikande already. Bet he sprained something trying to pin the candy on your chest. But honestly, you deserve it. Now that the fleet's done, I wonder where Mass will send the Vigilance next. There's a lot of bad apples out there. Your actions saved countless lives.
Yeah. That joint probably spit. That's fire too. is death. Why did I just do that? That's right, kind of ill, man. But I think I'm gonna keep this one on for real. That's right. Damn, I just did the same thing again, bro. Gotta be the eight, bruh. Gotta be.
That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. How long was we going in? Almost five hours. Yeah. I'm out of here. So as I can get to this live, man, is that joint. <laughs> 